All right, so for this one, we're going to do music, Chrome Music Lab app called Spectagram. Now on this, you're gonna see lots of colors, um, but instead of measuring how hot or how cold something is, like you normally would see in graphs like this or maps like this, you're gonna, it's gonna tell you and show you how loud or how soft some of the sounds that we hear are. So let me go ahead and share the screen. Okay, so when you come to Spectagram, it's going to look like it might be broken. There's nothing on here except for buttons at the bottom. Totally fine. What we are going to do is first, I'm going to start here. I'm going to skip these first two buttons. We'll come back to that later. That's the more um, active ones. Okay. Now, this one is a flute. When I click on it, it's going to play a pre recorded flute demonstration for you. And you're going to see the sound waves in a different way. Okay. You're going to see them. They're gonna turn red if that's the loudest sound. And it's gonna be purple if it's the softest sound or something that's the farthest away. You'll see all the other colors in between, okay? And the higher up on our page it is, that means the higher in sound it is. The lower it is on our page, the lower in sound it is. So, let me show you. And the red one, that's the sound we hear. You see another, like, other ones, okay? And you see all that purple and blue? That means it's so soft. Okay, part of it could also be my computer. Oh, no, maybe. So, next is the harp. You see the red ones? That's the loudest. That's what we hear. Then orange, yellow, green, it's still loud. We still hear it. But blues and purples are the softest. And you see they go all the way up there but we really hear those low sounds. Now this next one that looks like a face is actually somebody whistling. And it's quite easy to tell where the sound is. That's all we see, all we hear. Oh yeah, there's purple and blues up high and down low, but we're not hearing those. We're hearing the red part. Okay. Now we get to the brass instrument, the trombone. Okay, the only instrument with a slide Kind of cool. Now this one might be confusing. Look at all those lines. There's a red one. Okay. This one might be the trickiest to figure out where it is. But look at where all the yellows are. That's what we're hearing the most. That one is tricky. You see a lot of horizontal lines, lines that are going across. It's hard to tell. Now this next one looks like a box with a bunch of buttons. That is our drum machine. So it's gonna be more electronic. And you hear those low sounds. And then the high sound, that's our hi-hat. We get bass drum and some hi-hat cymbals. And then it's just on a loop. So we hear lows and highs. Notice in the middle, that's where a lot of the purple and blues are. We don't hear those as much. Then we get to a bird, which is a bird. But you're going to hear multiple birds. You're going to hear them with different calls. And you'll hear some of that background noise, like when it's nighttime and you hear like crickets or the wind. But you can tell those are those birds. Very easy to pick up which, where everyone is. Okay. <laughs> now this laptop button down here, throwback, your parents will know what this is. Back before Wi-Fi, we would have to connect our computers to the internet and it would make this sound and you had to wait till it was done so you could get on the computer. And it would sound like a phone dialing as well. <laughs> so throwback. And you see, you saw in the middle, that's where a lot of those sounds were. Okay. Now this last one is really neat because it is an actual instrument, even though you're like, people drink out of glasses. Well, if the glass is made from crystal, okay, those are very fancy, 
you can actually, and I'll use my mug as an example, it has coffee in it, it will not work with this, but if you take a crystal glass, okay, maybe your parents can show you if they feel up for it, you fill up that crystal glass with some water and you wet your, the tip of your finger in that water and you rub the edge of that, if you, you get it just right, it'll actually play music, which is kind of cool. It'll only get you one note, but you'll be able to play on it. And it sounds so beautiful and relaxing and calming. Mm. You see a lot of that red. Mm. So peaceful, so peaceful. All right, and we get to our two interactive ones. We're gonna go to the pointer, okay? And that's you clicking. And when I click on it, it even says, ah, oh, take your finger, since you're on your iPad, me, I'll use my mouse. And wherever my mouse is, and I click, that's what the sound is gonna be. So if I'm in the middle, kind of sounds like a bell. And then we get to like super high ones. So if I click and hold it, I move it around. You see the red is what we're hearing. So that's just clicking around, okay? Now this last one, it's my favorite of all of these. It's the microphone. So make sure your volume is working. When you click on it, it's gonna, it's gonna say, oh, it's picking up your voice. And you can see, oh, there's my voice. And you'll see lots of different spikes in there. Now the red ones are the ones that are the loudest, okay? And I can go low. And you can see where all that red is lower. And if I go high, okay, you can see it gets higher a little bit, but you don't have to use your voice. Okay, you can clap. If you have other instruments at home, you can play those and see what it looks like on here. If you don't, you can even turn on the TV and see like, oh, well, what does the TV look like when I play it? So it's kind of cool. It'll pick up any kind of sound. You and your parents, sibling, if you have a pet and they bark or meow or any other sounds, if you've got ducks, I don't know, maybe you've got ducks, um, see what they look like when they're on here. So those are all the buttons. You can't go back and replay any of those. It's just kind of like a live stream, but it's kind of fun to see what you sound like. So that is Spectagram. Have fun.